Another developing story tonight, this one south of the valley, and it began earlier this afternoon about 1 o'clock along I-10. Both the eastbound and westbound lanes shut down for hours because of a terrible crash near Picacho Peak. And these pictures show you just how bad the scene was. Look at that crumpled up mess. You can barely make out the cars crumpled in there like tin cans. All of this caused by blowing dust in the area earlier this afternoon. Now tonight DPS is still removing all of that wreckage from the scene. Fox 10's Ty Brennan live from that crash scene tonight with the latest. This was just a sudden dust storm that caused this. Yeah, this was a big uh, a big undertaking to clean up this huge mess behind me. 19 cars or vehicles, I should say, involved in all of this. Now, this evening, we do have an update. The eastbound I-10 lanes have reopened about two hours ago, but if you take a look behind me, you can still see DPS working to clear up that mess where those 19 cars all crashed into each other. DPS also working to figure out exactly what happened. Tow truck by tow truck, crews working on the difficult task of pulling 19 vehicles apart after a deadly pile up on I-10 at around noon today. These are heavy vehicles and we're having to bring in uh, special tow trucks to remove them. Uh, we've got to try to assign uh, the marks on the roadway, the damages that we're seeing with the vehicles that caused them to give us an idea. Captain Preston with DPS says this whole thing was caused by a dust storm which quickly dropped visibility on the roadway to zero in a matter of minutes. The massive pileup claimed the lives of three people and injured more than 12. Oh my God, man, I just felt fear, S just scared to death. Henry Wallace was behind the wheel of this truck when the pileup happened. And I pulled off the road right there and this just was a chain reaction. That last track there was driving pretty fast and he just pushed everybody over into me off the side of the road. Wallace said he didn't know what to do besides get out of his truck and run. I couldn't hear anything. Only thing, only thing went through my mind was get out the truck. And when I got out the truck, I couldn't see nothing. But I could, when I, when I started running, and I was getting far away, I could hear just car after car, truck after truck. Boom, boom, boom. When the dust settled, Wallace said he was stunned to see the destruction behind him. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm very, very thankful when I get home and kiss my wife and kids because I'm happy to see them again. Now, and tonight, one of those victims has been identified as a 77-year-old man from Washington. Uh, now, something interesting about this, we're learning just this evening, that there were six U.S. Air Force members who were medically trained that just so happened to be in the area when this huge crash happened. DPS is telling us that they were a huge help in actually getting there before medical personnel was able to get there to triage these people and also get those injured folks the treatment that they needed. Again, we are continuing to gather more details and we'll keep you updated on this developing story. For now, we are live near Eloy, Tyburn and Fox 10 News. Thank you, Ty.